What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Dr. DW here and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. My plan for today is to focus a little bit on the wine making aspect of things, which I'm excited to do. But in order to do that, we need one first finish growing our grapes, but I want to go ahead and get the infrastructure laid, basically the uh, wine press and wine aging barrel or whatever it is. And to do that, we need 28 flitch. Oh, and I also want to add a uh, trunk as well. Uh, I wrote this all down. 11 nails, eight simple iron parts, four complex iron parts, and then 10 stone. And that should be everything we need, I think. And then I've realized how annoying it is to have to go out the front door, all the way down to our graveyard, up into the church, and then down just to get over here like literally if i could clear this that would be beautiful and then our morgue it would connect everything up and that whoa you can get down here <laughs> that's kind of cool i didn't know that um but yeah in order to do that we need to clear these blockages and if you'll remember they take beams which requires the circular saw to create so i'm thinking that could be something we're able to do this episode all we need is 200 red points and we're at 176 and a lot of things that we do give us red points so even without trying we might be able to get the 176 that we need or sorry the uh the remaining 24 that we need to be able to do that so that's kind of what i'm wanting to do that's a little more reasonable than getting stone carving so we can make the uh graveyard look a little nicer uh, it's it's whatever also I forgot we already had a trunk down here but whatever we brought the materials to make one so we probably will wow that's large okay so this can that's what that is isn't there one of these out in the wild uh, just southeast of dig between him and the lighthouse I think it's one of these okay cool uh, let me first, let me see how large everything is. So that is a basically five wide by four tall. The winemaking barrel is, hold on, those are two by three, the chests. So these, well, they're a four by four footprint. Okay, and then the trunk. So all of these can go everywhere. So I guess we'll start just with that that makes sense kind of and then the winemaking barrel these are definitely meant to go down here having well having something right there is very much in the way but we might do it anyway we'll do one right here i think that looks the nicest and then the vine press can go up here at the right i think and then maybe we can do another trunk next to it for grape storage that need to be pressed. And then we can put the grapes down here and then run them over here. And we'll end up doing probably barrels across the bottom. But now we need to build all that stuff. And I don't know if this gives us any points. We're doing physical labor. So red points would be cool. Nah. Oh, well. <laughs> a man can wish, right? I actually haven't paid attention if you get points when doing this stuff. It's physical labor, so I don't know why you wouldn't, but that's fine. I'm just being greedy for red points right now. Okay, so the way this would work is you're going to start with the wine press, I would imagine. So we need... Wait, vine press. Ah, pail of grape juice, pail of berry juice. Ooh, pail of apple juice. I might start focusing on getting some more berries. So that we can test this thing out. The grape juice can have varying qualities depending on the grapes you put in gosh that is a bug and it's incredibly annoying seed oil can be made from hemp seeds and regular oil can be made from fat that is neat all with the vine press that's kind of funny how you can use a vine press to squeeze oil out of fat it's definitely meant for more of these things but our twisted nature is making oil out of fat all right and then once we have Ah, okay. So the red wine requires... Is that two pails? 
of grape juice. And then it makes 20 red wine. Look at that though. Plus 50 energy, plus 70 energy. What's the difference? Why is it plus 50 dot dot plus 70? Somewhere between the two, maybe? Or over time it heals? I like how wine actually has a positive effect in this game. Most games, when you consume alcohol, it's got a slight positive effect accompanied by a pretty major negative one, such as lowering your movement speed or just lowering some stat. But yeah, grapes are now something, or not grapes, berries are something I need. And that's giving us just straight green points. I guess I'll mine some stone or something if I see it to get some red points or restock our trees. I want to go check on, or I guess I could gather sticks too. That gives red points, right? It does. We might do a little bit of this just as we go. <laughs> it's going to take a little while and a decent amount of energy, but that's okay. All right. I'm very much taking my time here. Okay, let's check and see how these are doing. Not ready yet. I kind of want to get another one going. Or I guess I could clear all these if this gives us red points. Does it? It does not. That's okay. There's plenty of other things we could do for points. Like I said, I'm being greedy for them. And I guess we could take a tree back with us too. That is one thing that... What the heck? I tried pressing F at the top of the tree, and nothing happened. And then... I tried moving to the side, it was trying, but it wouldn't let me, and then it made me run all the way around the tree. <laughs> and then it decided to work. That's bizarre. My throat is a little bit tired today, so I'm pretty much intentionally not going to be completing any quests for anybody, <laughs> because I just don't feel up for it right now. As fun as they are, it does get kind of difficult, especially the merchant. No way I'm talking to the merchant. Look at these little trees regrowing. They're so cute. They're so tiny. Oh, and one thing I noticed, and I'm totally getting sidetracked right now. It says we have one body in the morgue. We don't have any bodies in the morgue. Apparently, the crematorium is an extension of the morgue. Because we only have the one body here. So I guess we'll burn him. And while that's going, instead of standing there and waiting, because it always is longer than I, than I think it is, we'll get some logs ready to take back. Perfect. Is there anything else that could be built down here? Uh, a trunk? I could build a trunk and place a bunch of wood billets. That'd be kind of nice. Is that five burial certificates? I, am I seeing that right? Oh. Five items, burial certificate, five... That is weird. I thought it was five burial certificates. It just shows one item, I guess, instead of all of them. Which makes sense, but... Oh, come on, logs. <sighs> oh, all right. I think I might spend the night, or until energy is depleted, farming up some red points. That is logs restocked, right? Six, seven, eight, I think it can hold. No, I think that's the max. Uh, yeah, I might make a couple more things and just, yeah, I'm going to spend the night or spend the rest of my energy restocking stuff. I don't know why I'm talking like it's not going to, or like it's going to take a lot longer than it is. If I make a couple more flitches and some nails, I'll be out of energy for the night. So, beautiful. And then I think we're going to need some more nails. I kind of do want to add a uh, trunk down there. So that's kind of what I'm gathering the materials for. All right, it's bedtime. Ooh, and today's Sunday, which means more energy, or not energy, uh, faith. More faith, although we only will be getting four, I think, most likely. We seem to always get four. I might save one of them so that next time we have four, or sorry, next time we do Wow, I can't put words together. Next time we do a sermon and get an additional four 
faith, it'll total five. And then I can use that to talk to Snake and progress that further. All right, four iron parts, four nails, and four flitch. Let me grab that. Okie dokie, here we go, key. What? A trunk down here is more expensive? Uh, okay, I guess I'll be right back. Second time's the charm, as they say. I like how some of these items have specific places they can go. It's kind of nice. Because, you know, clearly it's not going to take up the last spot there. That'd be kind of weird. Beautiful. And now we can start stashing just a ton of wood billets in here. And actually, just until we have a place to put this stuff, might as well put some of our burial certificates, which we can go sell in bulk. Because I don't need to sell them every time we get one. And just everything we get from here. So burial certificates, salt, ash, and wood billets. I think that is a workable solution. I'm going to go ahead and try to get the remainder. That's only green points. I thought we got some red for digging stuff up. Never mind. I'm going to try and get the rest of our needed red points for that 200. Just kidding. Hold on. Hold on. Just kidding. It's Sunday. I almost forgot. It's so easy to get sidetracked. We got to go do our sermon. So never mind. Hold that thought. What the heck? Did you just whip out a coin? Is that what that is? I have no idea. All right. I like how the casual prayer, we just have one all the time. No need to do anything fancy with it. If you want the better ones though, I know we have to create it ourselves. Wait, only, oh, whoa. It showed one and then updated to two. Come on, who wants to be generous and give me a third or a fifth, I guess. Give me your money. Beautiful. You know, we could just go research an item that takes... Yeah, let's do that. That'll be quicker. I don't need all those resources that I was grabbing anyway. I'm sure I will eventually, but right this second? Not really. All right, we have zero science, which means we need to get somewhere that has science. What the heck? I just studied two and it gave me five? Even though it says it gives me two each. Interesting. All right, we could study a tool. That could be very useful. I think I want to do the ax. How expensive is this? It takes three faith and three science. And now will leave us with one faith. So that way next Sunday, when we get our four, we'll have five and then could do the thing with snake. I think that's going to work. And this should definitely put us over the 200 mark. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. And now we can get the circular saw. Oh, it's so nice. Let's go see what it takes to one, make a circular saw and then two to make. How many wooden beams do we need? One. I know that one takes one down there. Three wooden beams plus iron parts and wood wedges. I think they're all going to take the same thing. That's 10 wedges and four simple iron parts. Four simple iron parts, 10 wood wedges. I'm assuming the third one down there is the same. And that should be every blockage cleared. It's only taken us, what, 14 episodes to get there? But we're getting there. Oh, we're not there yet, but we're close. <laughs> and let me grab these logs before I forget. Where did I leave them? Over here. Next to the tree, I almost started cutting down by accident. I love this, of all the, the weather effects in this game, I think this is my favorite, just the, the light fog. It's not super thick, but enough to give it kind of an eerie vibe, a very graveyard keepery vibe. All right, timber stockpile, saw horse, carpenter's workbench, and circular saw. 10 complex iron parts, eight wooden planks, wow. All right, I'm going to sleep for a few days, and I guess I'll make that happen. Oh my gosh, this is taking a lot of work. I've got to make the eight planks still. I'm actually making 16, eight for another church bench. We just got the little ding, 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 though, so it's time to take a pause from that. But I also just ran out of iron, so I'm going to have to go farm more of that as well before we can continue. So this is a process for sure. 
I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, if I have a body, since I've already got one that I had five white skulls on, I know it's possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and anybody that is less than that, I'm gonna go ahead and remove pretty much everything because I need it for other things. And I'm gonna burn it anyway, so it doesn't really matter much. Yeah, so flesh removes a white one, skin adds a red one, and skull I think adds a red one as well. Yep. All right. We'll take this, we'll burn it, and we will get back to grinding. And one thing I want to do, someone had mentioned, actually, I guess while we're doing this, I can take a look at it. Uh, not known NPCs, cookery. Someone had mentioned I was advised to make stew, which I think someone's jumping the gun because I don't think I know how to make stew yet. So, bowl of sauerkraut, beet slices, different jellies. I can make soup, but not a stew. So yeah, never mind. I can't make that yet. I would love to find, and wine might be the answer, some sort of sustainable source of food so I don't have to keep sleeping. I've already slept two entire uh, sleep cycles while working on this. Holy crap, could that take longer? Is our inventory full? Really? Uh, what did we get from that? The ash and the salt. And I wish it would just pick it up, but it doesn't. And then the burial certificate. Oh, all right though. Back to the grind. All right, well, the grind continues, but we're out here in the swamp trying to get some iron and there's this fishing hole. So I might fish in it and see what we can get. We don't have any bait, which is, oh, is that what I wanted to do? It started at the right end, I think, maybe. Yeah, okay. Oh, come on. This is not easy. Or I'm just bad at it. Most likely that one. Is that an eel? That's totally an eel. 100% chance for the eel, and there's two other fish we can get. So instead of making you watch me fish, which is probably not very exciting. Oh, it goes the direction you're facing. We're casting to the left this time. Every other time we fish, we cast to the right. So the bar starts from the right. That's kind of cool. I'm going to fish and I'll show you what I catch. Ooh, okay. That's the last one. Tilapia? We caught all of them. Is there a way to cancel out of that? I don't think there is. I don't want to be fishing right now. Come on. There we go. So we got a tilapia and two eels. Which, I don't know how good those are, but we got them, so that's kind of cool. I like how it's sort of like a, a checklist for each individual body of water. There's different fish you can catch, and you can see which ones you've caught out of that body of water, and which ones you have access to catch, depending on the bait you're currently using. It's kind of neat. But anyway, I'm going to hunt down any iron. It does not look like it respawns here, or at least like it hasn't yet. I did get some iron from directly north of our our home but as far as the rest of this i don't think i've mined this stuff before so that's probably what this is from but i don't know if it responds anyway i'm gonna track down every last bit of iron i can find oh my gosh i think that took like three in-game days just to get everything but we finally have it the circular saw oh it's beautiful all right, one thing I'm wanting to do is, oh man, this isn't gonna work. Are there any plots that are wider than others? This far one is pretty wide. Ah, oh, man, I wish you could move stuff. One of these days, and it's gonna suck to do, but one of these days, I'm gonna take pretty much everything that's here and move it somewhere else, which is gonna be a pain. But like this right here, it's five wide. The the cutting chopping spot, I think is what it's called. So is the table. So is the log stockpile. I'd like to make this into like the logging area and we can still do 
our stockpiles here, maybe two for logs, and then we'll do our stone cutting operations like down here with the forge up here. And I don't know. I want to space things out and make it seem like it would work. And this can't be rotated either, so it's just going to go there for now. But one of these days, like I said, it's going to suck to do. I'm going to probably go through and destroy everything and rebuild it so it's aesthetically pleasing. But that shouldn't come as a surprise to probably any of you. It's incredibly wasteful, but it'll look nice, so... Ah, and we can make... Does that do any different? Six flitch for one log, that's the same. Wood billet, three for one, that's also the same. We can make three wood planks at a time? Oh, now we can make planks out of... Ah. Hold on, so that is better, right? So, oh my gosh, this is kind of confusing. Okay, so one log yields six flitch, and then that six flitch can be turned into six planks here. But over here, one log, which yields six flitch, yields three planks instead of six. Weird. Anyway, we need one more complex iron part and a log, and we can make three wooden beams. And that should hopefully be enough, I think. What did I say it was? One wooden beam, ten wedges, and then... Okay, so we'll need 30 wood wedges. We need to make more billets. Which we can do from here now, right? This makes three... Sorry, I'm trying to get everything straightened out here. So that also makes three. I wonder if this uses less energy since it's mechanically based. That sounds awesome. <laughs> All right, so we need 30 wood wedges. I don't honestly know if we have some already, but regardless, we're making more. Look at that. We already spent 200 red points and we're back up to over 100. All right, we need... 30 wedges, and then we would need 12 simple iron parts, I think, if I'm doing this correctly. We're kind of guessing on what's required for the other one. I didn't even see how many I had. I have six, so I'll need to make another six. I'm hoping this all works out, numbers-wise. Oh, come on. And then we'll need complex iron parts which takes simple iron parts. We'll have to add one of those to the queue as well. <sighs> and that's worth sleeping over because that's a lot of energy. So I'll enjoy you <sighs> in just a sec. Okay, that's made up. And now we also need just the one, which will make three. Again, that sound is so cool. And that gives us five red points. Fancy. And we're getting a red points for that too. Oh, all the red points. All right, we don't need the rest of these complex iron parts or those extras, but that's 12, three, and 30. And I'm hoping this works. And while I'm at it, let me just go ahead and grab the eight wooden planks. And then I think it's eight nails, of which we have none. So we'll have to make up some nails as well. And then this is all going to take energy to do. <sighs> so before we head down, guess what we're doing again? That's right. Sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Much better. Now that we have this all done. Oh, and I want to check my grapes too. That'll be exciting. Should we do that first? No, we'll do this now since we're here. Okay, clear out. We can finally clear the path between our cellar of our house and our church basement. Oh, it's so nice. Now we can come and go freely and now we gotta work towards the morgue. Which, I don't know why there's a blockage here and one there. That seems just like excess work. I get it to have the one just to prevent you from being able to go to both 
but why why both? I Okay, good. I'm glad they're all the same. And this is gonna take the remainder of our energy. Hopefully I don't have to eat. Oh guys. It's so nice. We could go through the Borg inside. Oh, we have the entire thing unlocked now. Minus the little area that Snake's blocking. And I don't know what all is up there, but at least as far as our work area goes, and there might be more up here, I don't know. We can't get there. Which reminds me, I don't know how to do that. It said, uh, who was it? The, where is he at? Astrologer, collect the old keeper's diary from the church cellar, which is located up here. And it said we needed to study the key and I tried doing that, and then I forget what it said, but we weren't able to. Keeper's key requires instructions for the key. You need to use a keeper's key with this instruction at a study table, and I don't know how to get the instructions, but I also haven't tried looking, so no no hints yet, please. If I, if I need help with that, I'll ask for it, but otherwise, no thank you. I'm gonna try to build this last bench while I'm here, cause it's beautiful. And I'm pretty sure we can get upgraded church benches at some point. But right now, that's just, it looks clean. It's even, it's nice. All right, with the zero energy that we have, we're gonna go check on our grapes. I'll eat, I know I don't normally, but I will eat. And I know we don't have any carrots in there either. I don't have the, I don't know. I'll, I'll get to it eventually. Let me go check the grapes. <gasps> they look done. And they're done. Ooh. And we got four grape seeds back. So we can just turn around and plant right away. But someone was telling me to build or to fertilize this. And actually, do I have a need to fertilize yet? I don't think so. We're gonna just put these back in. Beautiful. And replanting gives us a seed as well. What exactly did we get from that? Four. Ah, so the silver star or silver star grape seeds give us silver quality grapes, which makes sense. But yeah, someone just told me to put a trunk up there. I was like, from where? Where do I build it? Apparently at something you unlock later, which is kind of cool, but not yet. And that's also strange because every other blueprint station like that has been broken down or already existing. And all we had to do was repair it to get it to work. This one seems like it might be slightly different. Crop waste, get that going. We'll grab these berries because we can, and eventually we can make berry wine, which I don't know why it's just not called wine, but I guess it makes sense. It is a video game after all. We'll stash the peat, we'll stash the maggots, and that's it, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go try our hand at making grapes, which is exciting, and we can go down through here, which would have been the most convenient way, regardless of whether or not we unblocked everything. Just kidding, it takes 15, not four. I am kidding. I'm gonna end here though, cause oh my gosh, I'm getting loopy with all the grinding I've had to do. I think we made some good progress. We can eventually, hopefully soon, make grapes. I might go buy some more grape seeds just to expedite the process. And we can add more of these, uh, wine making barrels you press it and then you put it in here to age it i guess and now we can walk freely between everywhere it's so nice so 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 nice i'm thinking we're gonna work on what is it something here i thought it was something here it might not be i don't know how to get black paint yet so and the alchemy workbench Hold on, I always do this. Alchemy Workbench is not able to be built yet. No, it is. We just don't have the stuff for it. Alchemy Workbench is two advanced conical flasks, which is not under building. It's under anatomy and alchemy, maybe? Alchemy. Uh, Alchemy Workbench 2, it's not what I need. Wait, where? No, it's smithing. Jeez. Glass blower two. Advanced conical flasks. 30 blue points. 
if we can get the blue points, if we have anything more that we can study for blue points, or maybe we'll just make up a ton of glass, that might be doable. That would be nice so that we can start doing some alchemy things. But that is for another episode. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun because we made a lot of progress. I'll see you guys next time, though. And until then, as always, take care.